Now, those of us who start out the new year with resolutions, you know, we sort of start with the best of intentions, but by the end of January, well, we find it's a little difficult to stay on track. Have you stuck with yours? Uh, I mean, we're a couple, halfway through the month. Yeah, not so good for me. All right, well, here with a few simple strategies to make your resolution stick for good is Jennifer Grace, a transformational coach and the author of Directing Your Destiny. Jennifer, great to have you back here on the show. Thanks, guys. Great to be here. Absolutely. So, so you have these six tips, but first let's talk about some of the, the biggest resolutions that people make. Of course, uh, losing weight, yep. falling in love, being more organized. Break it down for us. What do you see most out there? Well, the, the crazy thing also is that 80% of people fail in the first two months of setting their resolutions. Mm. And so, like you said, weight loss. And, and also maybe even creative projects like they've always had a book that they wanted to write or a business that they wanted to start sure. but so here's the deal okay. okay a lot of people think it's great idea goal success right so I'm an author maybe people look at me and go oh look at Jennifer Grace she wrote a book no no sweat that's not how it works okay so there is a process that comes from Stanford University the course that I teach the creative insight journey Stage one, mm -hmm. set your New Year's resolution. Maybe mm. it is to write a book, okay? Okay. Stage two, that this is what people don't know, is frustration. 99.999% of the time, when you have a goal, you will then hit a brick wall. Frustration, so things don't go as you're planned. You're supposed to go through this? You're you are. You're supposed to have the frustration. Yes. And when I learned this, it gave me permission to go, okay, I'm in the right stage. Pat yourself on the back. Okay. Well, can, can you kind of help us? Can we tell you what our New Year's resolutions sure. are? And, and, and sort of walk us through the six steps Absolutely. to maybe, to maybe get there? Absolutely. Love to. So would, what do you, would I care to start or would you, you care? You go ahead. Oh, okay, I okay. have such a silly New Year's resolution. Right. Well, mine is, is to learn to be a better cook and to cook more, to be That's great. a chef. Yes. Okay, great. I'm okay, so that's your great idea, stage uh -huh. one. Yep. So stage two is mm -hmm. frustration. Yes. So what starts to happen is either <laughs> self-doubt creeps in, you know, the itty-bitty beep committee says, well, you can't mm. cook and you don't have time to cook or whatever. Or you go to the grocery store and find out that three items cost $15. That's what I found out this weekend, the Ezekiel bread I was telling you about. Yeah. Right, so money, money is a stop. There Very you go. Right? Yes. Can't start my business, can't do what I want to do mm. because of money. Procrastination, oh, you want to go to the supermarket, well, maybe I'll just like watch the game and Instead. Yeah. Okay, Sounds so there's right. that stage. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do is then go to stage three, which is incubation. Take your great idea and just put it on the back burner mm. and let it simmer for a minute. You know when you're frustrated and you like can't think of the name of a restaurant and you're trying to tell your just friend? Just drives you nuts. Right, yes. drives you nuts. But then you go for a drive or a run and then all of a sudden you're like, boom, Cafe Michaels, right? So that's the incubation. <laughs> so just take a minute. Then you want to go into strategy. And this is when you start brainstorming back to the drawing board. And you start tossing around, well, maybe how can I call in a chef to teach me or get some friends to invite them over? That's a good accountability, right? Can we apply this step to Teresa's New Year's resolution? What, and what is What that? would yours be for <laughs> strategization? I don't want to eat McDonald's anymore. <laughs> That is my New Year's resolution. It's really just okay. Ma Hey, maybe willpower. I can cook for you. Yeah, there you go. go. How do we re-strategize this situation? Yes. And do you know in stage four of strategy is yeah. allies, getting oh, other see, people to help you because we can't do it alone. Are we too close right now? Should no, we it's a doorbell. <laughs> a doorbell. It's a doorbell. It's a doorbell. I love it. Oh it's a doorbell. Gosh. My Brooklyn just came I, out. I like wow. that. I like that. I like that. All right, so now we have a game plan, what okay. we need to do, right? So there you go. You guys are going to create a date that you're going to have this little cooking party at your house. You're not going to go to McDonald's. You're going to then go to stage five, which yeah. is breakthrough. Illumination, right? So you've gotten over the brick wall of frustration. You're eating healthy. You're committed I'm to what you're more. doing. You're cooking. <laughs> and then, this is never going to happen. And then the final stage, is, if we get there, yeah. hopefully. Celebration, where you're eating the food, we you're enjoying celebrate. it. You're having a great bottle of wine. Adult beverages, perhaps? <laughs> yes, to that? yes, absolutely. Okay. So good. that's how you move through the process. And, you know, we're, we're kind of being fun with all of these little things. But even if you want to start a business or write a book, sure. I think the most important, though, is the stage for is the strategies and is the allies and bringing in people to hold you accountable because if you keep your dreams inside your head no one's looking if you do them or not so you got to share your new year's resolutions with I other people that's great. i also like the celebrating part though too that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the best part that's the best part and when we about. even when we do little goals we have to celebrate them don't always wait to the end you know because sometimes the end is a long time maybe it takes a year yeah. to realize your dreams so okay. little celebrations Jennifer, Jennifer thanks so thank much you. for being here you're yes. so welcome all right uh, coming up next Busy moms, listen up. We've got some tips on how to de stress. We all need that. Plus, are you looking to lose a little bit of weight?